All right, I know there's a lot of talk going on, and I've noticed, I'll try to get just anything, and the stores are pretty much almost out. Now, not out of everything, but I'll notice that you'll see boxes and boxes of, of items, but you'll see written on some of those boxes that are supposed to go on the shelf, words like that, food OS, food overstock, okay, food overstock, so these boxes and boxes of items are overstock, so if this is overstock, then why are the shelves empty? Why are the shelves practically empty? Overstock means it's overstock. There's no overstock. The shelves aren't full. Many of the food, food and medicine sections and necessities are empty. Now, they try to keep certain things, but the majority of it is just very, very limited. And when I mentioned it, and they heard me bring it up, they started putting they started putting some of the items that were supposed to be on the shelf out. They started stocking. But there's a planned crisis taking place. I've heard people saying things like, well, they're being told not to bring anything new in. Other employees are saying, I have no idea what is going on. It makes no sense. That those in charge are doing a horrible job of keeping it. They're not doing. They're not doing a mistake. They're not making a mistake. This is not a mistake. It's a. It's a created crisis, a planned crisis. And anyone with eyes can see it. Anyone, and anyone with a half a, with a half of a brain can figure it out. And they're telling some stores not to bring in new items. Why? Why? I've heard they're telling some stores not to bring in new items for the new year. I'm not trying to be a scare tactic. I'm not trying to be a scaremonger. I don't do that mess. You know I don't do that crap. But there are people saying that they're telling them not to bring in new items. Why? Why not bring in new items? After the first of the year, don't bring the new stuff in. Why? Unless you're trying to make it worse. What about the What about the millions of people coming across... You know where, the B-O-R-D-E-R, -E what about the millions of people coming across every single month? What about the tens of millions that come across that, that you see just coming over here and a lot of the people of other ethnicities besides Caucasian are driving extremely nice vehicles, very, very large vehicles of, of plenty of family, buying things on EBT, buying things on food stamps and government cards. You see people that are from other places, living it up, driving fancy vehicles, nicer than anything that we drive, that we can afford, and getting by like it's nothing, with lots of times plenty of children. And yet there's a crisis happening, and yet, sure, let's bring more people into a country that's struggling and has just spent trillions this year in debt, mind you. Like Elon said, why are you putting trillions in debt when you're already tens of trillions in debt and then you just print tens of trillions more and spend tens of trillions more than you already have? If this was a person trying to make a loan for tens of trillions of dollars and they didn't have the funds to, to back it up or at least a, a money coming in to back it up, you wouldn't be allowed to do that. You and I would not be allowed to go out and take a loan out without going through the ringer, going through the process if they didn't think you were going to be able to pay it back. Sufficient funds to pay it back. And yet the government can send out code and print out money, wire transfer money to everyone else and to everything else, and we're left with nothing. Does that make any sense? We literally can't do that, but they can. Federal Reserve and those elites have power to do whatever but but this makes no sense food overstock it's not overstock there's nothing in the store this is the medicine section this is just part of the medicine department there's one NyQuil right there wow there's some other NyQuils but look at that empty sections this used to be and they don't even seem to care to restock it 
This used to be full. At all given times, they had certain restock days. Well, an employee north of here, at a Dollar General north of here, said that they're told, nope, we can't bring you except for half of what's on this truck and it's got to go somewhere else. One of the trucks said we can only bring you a third of what's on this truck and put it in the store. The rest has got to go to other stores and distribute it. They're like, well, you have plenty on there. And there's other trucks going to other stores. Nope, part of it's got to go back to the warehouse. The rest has got to go to the trucks. Why? Crisis, crisis, crisis. There's a Dollar General that's brand new and their stores are empty. Their shelves. This is what it looks like at a brand new store. This store is just remodeled and reopened. And check it out. Empty, 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 empty. And it's it's brand the brand new stores are empty. This is supposed to be allergy medicines. Allergy and fever and all of that stuff. This is supposed to be that section. Empty, 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 empty. It's uncalled for. This is supposed to be... Uh, let's see, Robitussin's, uh, NyQuil's, and allergy medicines, and Zyrtec, and... Aleve's and Advil's. Now, these sections are empty as well. You look over here, those are empty. Right there where the Rexall is supposed to be. The Rexall for Tylenol, off-brand Tylenol, the cheaper version than the regular Tylenol. Empty. They've got plenty of off-brand orange juice. This is the regular orange juice. I got the last one. Empty. Several milks. Empty. Several milk. Empty. Naked drink. Empty. Several of these, uh... Several of these milk sections are empty. Now, there, there's several milk down there, but no one wants that kind, apparently. Probably take what you get someday. Let's see. Garbage bags, for some reason, are just usually empty. Garbage bag sections... A Ziploc area, a few Ziplocs. Usually sparing. I got the last of the, the Mott's apple juice. They had three Mott's apple sauces, and I got one of them. Paper towels, no bounty. Just out of bounty, just don't even bring it in. A while back, they had all kinds of it in the back, but yet they're not bringing it in. Litter, guess what? They brought in a, a one one extra container of litter. They brought in one litter. Look here. Look at the cat food, dog food. Look at the dog food. And this guy said, oh, they're probably just restocking. <sighs> yeah. Look at the dog food. I got one dog food that I could find. And I decided to get some puppy chow for my dog. Maybe she'll be able to eat it. I got sixteen ninety five puppy chow. But you'll see it's empty. No, actually it's about sixteen ninety with tax. Empty. Completely. There's no reason no reason for that dog food to be empty. Here's the cat food can sections which used to have all kinds of cat food there. It's got some. Let's see. Where is the cat food section? You get the picture, you get the point. Cat food section is the same as the dog food section. Completely empty. Nothing there. And if people need medicine, oh, that's right. There is none. There's some Vicks, Vicks uh, Salve. Vicks Salve, Vicks Vapor Rub, whatever you want to call it. Vapor Rub, Vapor Rub, Vicks Salve. Empty besides that. This is the medicine section. They're not even bringing any new in. They want people to suffer. They want people to not have anything. No supplies. No medicines. Just be sick. Depend on them. Have rations. And be like a socialist or communist section, country. Where you're only allowed so much. As they tested during the pan pandemic. They tested that out. The stores were telling us only one can of beans during the uh, during the uh, <coughs> scenario. They were telling us one can of beans at a store, and telling people, "Here, line up and follow the lines, follow the instructions, and and a person will follow you around." 
only 10 people allowed in Walmart at a time and, and follow the one person around it to tell you what you can and cannot get of each item. Necessary items only and mark them off as you get them because you can only get one can of beans, one loaf of bread, and once they are low on bread, each person, uh, each person that has to pick which one needs it the most. It's just, that's the rules that they were giving during this <coughs> scenario and they were getting us used to this situation. That's what happens in those countries that go by com or soch, you know? All right. It's just making me very annoyed. It's unnecessary. There's no reason for it. Look at the Great Reset. And look at the items in Walmart now. It says, for 2023 Great Reset. And the they've replaced all of their, well, at least in our Walmarts, they replaced all of the old gas weed eaters, leaf blowers, and trimmers, and uh, grills with electric. And it says, yes, that's right, Tom. That's the cat. That's one of the cats, Tom. He said, huh? Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's an outrage, isn't it, kitty? This control is an outrage. Anyway, yeah, that's what they're doing, and that's what they did. It actually has written on there, prepare for reset, 2023. Save for reset, and I got rid of all the old, so. Crazy world now, isn't it, kitty? I know, I know. Alright, much love. This is a documentation video of me ranting. Let me know what you think. Things are getting crazy, as we knew they would, but it seems like it's kind of unnecessary right now. It's not like there's any major thing causing it. It's just an unnecessary... It's not like, oh... Major natural disasters, major disasters took place all over right now that are causing everything to come to a standstill and a halt. No, it's just unnecessary created crisis. It's not like, to me, I mean, I know it's it's stated in biblical prophecy and, and, and prophetic events that would take place, but really it seems like that would be more of a natural occurrence, not something that's just, oh, let's just plan this out and make it happen. All right, moving on. Much love, and bye. Uh, that's Peace, signing out for this video. He says bye, too.